So very critical at this point to mention this. Since the protests uh, have taken place and the issues have been accepted, the time has come for the protest to stop. Because government needs to have sufficient time, uh, a clement environment to implement the demands of the protesters. We also need to have our economy to continue to go on. When, when we try to stop everybody from uh, engaging in their local businesses, closing uh, roads to markets and, and other uh, economic places, we distract the economy of the country and that is not the best way to go. If the issues had not been accepted, then there would have been genuine reasons to continue with, with, with demonstrations and protests. But since the issues have been accepted, we should give government time to implement the, the issues. And therefore, I'm taking this opportunity to appeal uh, to our youth who are protesting that the protests have already yielded the desired results. First of all, they say end SARS. That was the beginning. SARS was ended not by the IGP. SARS was ended by the president himself. The, the president, uh, President Muhammad Buhari, made a statement, a presidential statement. And that would be the first time that any president will say end SARS. And SARS has ended. The other issues followed. The other issues have been addressed. And that's why we are here. So I, I believe that the time has come for this protest to come to an end to allow government to address the issues in a very short time. I also believe that uh, other Nigerians have legitimate rights to go on their lawful businesses without let or hindrance. And we cannot have that when the roads are blocked. So we, we don't want a situation where there will be a degeneration of, of law and order because somebody is blocked and he feels he must have his way. So we, we, we believe that withdrawing from this process at this moment is the right thing to do. Meanwhile, give us the opportunity to deal with matters that we have, uh, as a government, agreed to, uh, to handle. That's